Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'll be showing you how to decompile Python files again but today in this video I'll be showing you the detailed version and how to counter the errors that a lot of my viewers have been getting in, the, in my other video and I'm doing this because one, I don't want a ton of friend requests to my discord and just helping them two, it is quite easy to fix them and three some people don't trust me so i i'm just going to show you how to do it so without further ado let's get started so here here is three exes these are what we are going to try and decompile we're going to try and here is another file python file that i'm going to be explaining what it does later so let's start off on how to decompile uh, this file here yes.exe let's open cmd in the current fold folder by typing cmd in the search bar and now it's saving python so yep you have 3.9 okay now we remember this let's type in uncompile 6 what is uncompile 6 uncompile 6 is a python decompiler S the same developer also be decompiled 3 so it's your choice on what you want to install this is pip3 install uncompile 6 now the first error that some people get is they've installed uh, the module so they get requirement already satisfied they try uncompile 6 and they get something like uh, uncompile 6 is not a proper batch command something like that so this is to do with your python installation when you're installing python the first window you get at the bottom of that window you will see add python to path now what now what path is is just a global variable for a file so let's say if you put this yes.exe into our path we don't have to go into this directory to open yes.exe with cmd instead we can just go into desktop type in yes.exe and we'll execute We'd, we wouldn't have to type in the full path of this plus yes.exe so how to do that is you can reinstall python again so, uh, i don't think repairing works but reinstalling would work and make sure you check that option there if you don't want to do that you can just type in path in the window search bar and the best match you should see edit the system environment variables and you click there and you should get a window something like this click on environment and variables and now in your user variables you're going to scroll down to see path edit that and you can already see i have python 3.9 so this is the folder for python 3.9 this is already set up in my path if you want to if you haven't added this into your path so make sure you check here user variables or system variables in case if it's not there in some cases this is how you add them you can install this program called everything everything program uh, this what uh, this is a really good program really simple and it just look at files and folders by name instantly in the whole disk and it's really fast unlike the Windows Explorer file searcher so you can just click on download in star 64 bit if it's if your PC is 64 bit or 32 bit this is 32 bit here I've already installed it so let's open it here now we, what we have to search up is whatever so if you have python 3.7 your python folder is going to be python 37 if you have python 39 it's 39 if you have python 3.10 it's 310 now you're going to look for the folder that's my folder there let's close this tab here and already you're in the python installa installation folder now whatever installation you want to add to path you're going to click on that 
copy the path click on edit for user variables on the path variable just click on new and paste in your thing there so once you add that then you go into your second thing click on scripts copy the path same process so that's what you do to fix uh, if any of the python commands are not available and you get problems in cmd so let's see and open yep so let's try and decompile this now uncompile 6 yes.exe uncompile 6 dash o so we're going to output the file you should have a full stop there and uh, yes.exe so one the file yes.exe oh i'm sorry uh, I pointed it to an exe, not a pyc. Okay, so uh, gotta get rid of that. Decompile. Let me just open my decompile folder. Python. Here we have py instr extractor. We're gonna do python py instr extractor, and we're gonna put yes.exe into there. And here's the first error. Uh, the second error that people get is missing cookie uh, error missing cookie unsupported pyinstaller version for the pyinstaller archive so this means not a python exe and only python exes won't be this small and it's probably a dotnet a dotnet file okay and that's that's the best guess we can get small file size and mainly doesn't have an icon and it's also not a pyinstaller archive so it's probably best chance is in dotnet if you don't know and you want to make really make sure you can install this you can install another program called die De detect it easy that's what it's called so you can see it here detect it easy github by horse at q click on this link Taken slow, the CPU is really slow, and you can just click on download, click on releases, and you should get some here. I got the Windows 64 portable version, so it's just a zip folder, extract it, and you'd get die.exe here. So we're gonna run that, and I'll show you what, uh, how to use it. So detect it easy. Give it some time to load. Let's see what this file is. Yes.exe. After that, we're going to see what this file is and what this file is. These two are for one of my viewers. I'm not going to show full source. So yes.exe. Just drag it into file name, and you can see the library is .net. So if it is a .net and you want to decompile, you can just click on my channel, and you should see another video on how to decompile .net. On this mod modest menu, this is a Microsoft Visual C. This could be, this is it doesn't say .NET, and it doesn't say Zlib archive. So if it's if it says Zlib archive, that means it's definitely a Pinestaller archive. And you can see this is Microsoft Visual C C The linker is Microsoft linker. It's the same with this other file. So it could be a Python file. Or it could just be an installation. So you can run the installation and find the exe from there. So that's not cs.exe. We learned how to decompile that. Well, we, we couldn't because it's not a Python file, it's a .NET. You can be my other video. So let's delete that. Modest menu.exe. Let's decompile that. So we're going to do Python, Pinestractor, Modest menu. Now a lot of people, when they try to, okay, so they've got the PYC and they try to decompile it and they get something like bad martial data. That means you've, you've installed the wrong Python version for this file. Now what you're supposed to do is that when you're decompiling a file, the Python, okay. Okay, the Python version of the file is 310, 3.10 you can see right here and over here 
warning the script is running in a different python version than the one used to put the ex executable please run the script in python 3.10 to prevent extracting errors during unmarshalling so what you do is just install python 3.10 already i have it installed and because i have multiple python versions installed in my computer i can just type it pi-3.10 or 3.9 to call python 3.9 so python 3.10 Pine star extractor. We're going to delete the old folder. Hang on. We're going to delete the old extracted folder. It's on here. We're going to delete that because that has some errors. And we're going to there's it here. Try modest menu. Now you can see there's no errors. We didn't get any warnings. Kidians.pyc is the thing is the main PYC because it's the last possible entry point. So for kidians.pyc right here. And all we have to do is just do uncom uncompile six and dash o output the file dot just drag and drop the PYC file. And what's this? Unsupported Python version 3.10 for decompilation. So what this means is the yeah so we can't use 3.10 to decompile the developers have said that the both of their decompiles uncompile 6 and decompile 3 only supports python version 3.7 to 3.8 which also means that you can only decompile python versions python files python exes that are 3.10 to 3.8 so that means it is it's not that rare, but it is kind of rare to find a file, like a token grabber that you want to decompile, and it's 3.7 to 3.8. Because now we've got 3.10 over here. So what do we do? We can't decompile it. How can we see the source code? That's why we have this file here. So to call this, just type in Python. A any Python version doesn't matter. As long as you call the Python file, and uh, I'll link the description where you can download this file. It's a GitHub link, and uh, you can read from there the instructions on how to use the file. So we're going to call uh, this file dash p for the PYC file. I'm going to drag and drop this file here. And you can see it's just all it does is just display the bytecode from the PYC in a much simpler way so you can see this is definitely a discord token grabber found a webhook this is dead anyway so I don't know what you guys are going to do with this it's definitely a token, token grabber and here so we know that this is a token grabber we can delete this away CLS and we can delete the extracted folder and also kidians.py I was trying to decompile idle c account as our exe. So how can you do that? Let's call python pyinstructor.py drag and drop this. So it's a 3.8. Warning the script is running in a different Python version than the one used to build the executable. Again this is Python 3.8 and because in my path I had Python 3.9 every time every time I type in Python I'm calling 3.9 so I need to call Python 3.8 delete the previous extract folder Python 3.8 call the PyInstructor file drag and drop the exe and we should decompile it with no errors so idle idle account .pyc, that's the last entry point so it's the main account uh, let's find it right here so let's just drag this out the folder so it's not a complete mess and let's type in uncompile 6 dash o dot idle account dot pyc you can see successfully decompiled the file you can see we got all the source code here it's not a token grabber thank god now 
one problem on compile 6 i think i've called it in python 3.10 if you do get the same error as uh, uh, this is not uh, not the current version to use uncompile 6 and decompile these uh, pyc what you can do is just again open everything search up python 3.8 or 3.7 whatever one you installed so uh, this file was a 3.8 we're going to open that if it was a 3.7 for you going to open that if it's 3.7 0.1 it doesn't matter it's going to be here now we're going to go into scripts and we're going to find uncompile 6 and what you can do is just drag and drop so we're calling uncompile 6 from 3.8 and not from 3.9 and just the same the same arguments dash o dot and add the pyc file and i hope you enjoyed this video it's the end of the video i hope you got all your problems and errors all fixed and if you still get any errors, feel free to contact me on Discord. All the links, or all the references are in the description. And feel free to comment, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, share with your friends. And yeah, give this video a like. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.